So I think it's it's going to be a pretty short one. First of all, I want to congratulate you on the signs. Oh, thank you. We got there eventually. Yeah, it's really great. Uh, you said you had a problem with the burger one or something? Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure what kind of artistic style to go with it since... Um, I don't think you need uh, it. You don't, you don't think so? Yeah. I mean, I like all of them. I don't think we need any drawings of food since... So. We seem to, to like to get all the all all text based. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm fine. Okay. I, I really like the colors. I think the colors are exactly right. So. Uh, well, the fact that, that you said to use the um, the color palette from the concept yeah. art as a template that really really helped. Yeah, really good. helped. And I would definitely keep using that template for when you're designing all the the props and stuff. That's mm. definitely the direction. So I think what we're supposed to go over is the, the mood boards. Yes. So let me just uh, open them up. Uh, so we definitely want to have uh, the three sauces, the three, uh, you know, ketchup, mustard, and powder sauce. Mm. Uh, that's kind of like the, the bread and butter for those, for the, for the cards. Mm. And salt and pepper as well. Mm -hmm. What's displayed there is, um uh, potential little stacks of containers that the uh, the fish and chips could be served in. Yeah, I you know, see. just as little background bits. The styrofoam containers, the, right? The white ones. Yes. So let me. I just want to have the the truck itself in front of me, so I can. Uh... So tartar sauce, ketchup, and there was a third one. There was the mustard. Yeah. Somewhat of a cultural travesty, but what? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, do they, do they not use uh, mustard? No, no. Oh, I see. It's cocktail. It's not. What is cocktail sauce? Um, that I. That's just. I was looking more at the shape of the bottles. Those were sort of like more shape references. What would you say? Ketchup and tartar is usually the default, and that's it. Yeah, and curry sauce. And would the curry sauce also be in one of those squeeze bottles, or? No, it'd be warmed up and served in little pots, along with the mushy peas. And what about tartar? Is that would that would be in the squeeze? In the squeeze oh box? yeah, oh yeah. So and uh, salt and pepper. Right. So let's be, to just that. Just ketchup and tartar. Let's remove them. Yeah. I got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Ignorance. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to offend the territory. Uh, Culturally insensitive, more. Exactly. <laughs> no, I knew. Like I, I thought it was wrong, but because I saw the the, the yeah, I thought it was mustard, but it's not. So uh, I think the styrofoam, the white styrofoam uh, containers are a good idea as well. Okay. Uh, salt and pepper for sure. Mm-hmm. A couple of plates maybe? Um, there's, it, they kind of come in a range. Um, traditional fish and chip shops tend to go with uh, newspaper. Mm -hmm. um, well, definitely, um, but the, I, you notice a lot of them are starting, especially ones that are kind of, you know, like in carts. They, uh, they tend to favor the styrofoam containers. Um, but there are, like, depending on how many chips you want, um, mm -hmm. you could just get a cone of chips or you could, in, you could get a container and that usually contains the fish and the chips. So the, the newspaper thing, that little cone, that would be made out of newspaper? Yes. And you would just hold the cone in your hand and, and eat the fries yeah. from it? Yeah. So, um, would you like um, some newspaper, like, wraps? Yeah, I'm looking or at Or shall we just keep it simple, like just the styrofoam? Uh, I think, yeah, let's have, let's have that as well. Let's have that. Okay, uh, yeah. Because I see I'm looking at the previous now, and there's a lot of room on the, on the shelf. For the fish and chips truck, it's very wide, mm. so I think we can yeah. fill it up. They could be like uh, piles of like um, paper on the side, ready to kind of like transform into cones, I guess. Yeah. And maybe like some of the like some holders that are empty, mm. where the fries would be. So like maybe some mm. of them are empty, and some of them had have one or, yeah. one or two. And I think that's it. That's the only thing that are needed. For the okay then. Chips, I think. All right, moving on, I'm going to do the juice. So for the juice truck, the main thing is the machine. Mm. So we need to design the machine. 
We start, don't, you don't have to go with a, a hyper realistic look of what a no. what a juice machine would look like. So mm -hmm. you know. So potentially, so, I could get experimental in terms of shape. For sure. I mean, you know, it's uh, you can you can keep the the theme of the shapes that we have for everything, and you already know what it is not by now. Um, mm. But you can definitely do something that is a little cartoony, like say everything was like rounded, which would make sense for. Uh, or like a metal machine. So yeah, you can definitely do something more experimental as long as mm. it, it reads as a juice machine. Mm. Then we have the cups that needs to be made as well. Yes. I think it would be fun to have one of those cups that have a, like a dome on top of them. Yeah. Like the one, you have that in the, in the mood. Yeah, yeah clear cool. or with a design on the side. No, let's keep them completely clear because it's going to be mm. filled with green juice. So it's going to be mm. green. So you can, you can actually design it with the juice in it to see what it looks like. I'm trying to think of like, are we gonna have like, uh, like fruits or vegetables in there? Mm, like a, a fruit bowl or a uh, like a pre preparation station. Although I don't think in the animatic we'd look close enough inside the truck to see the preparation of the, you know, the no. vegetables. No, it's yeah. Let's keep it uh, without it. Let's just have a big machine there where they just pull the liver. And and there's just juice flowing into a cup, so let's have right. like a cup. You know, I'm gonna have like a bunch of cups next to each other with one mm. being filled. Uh, and I think maybe like a like a straw holder. Straw holder. Like some kind of container that has straws. Like, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Uh, so perhaps like um, I. I don't think it's specified in the animatic, but perhaps part of the the um, factory line process of like that the pig and the uh, the fish are subjected to, like one of them could be putting straws in the drinks before I sliding think, them on. So I think like one of them is is pouring the juice and then it hands that hands it over to the next one and then it, this guy puts the straw and hands it to the customer. Mm. Very funny. I'll try. Yeah. I'll try. Um, I'll try a, a a few different straw designs. It's such a simple thing that it's not much of a time waster. Right, and I want the container to be like as simple and boring as possible, along with the design right. of the truck. So we want it to be like a square, nothing special. We don't want to go. We, this is the place we don't want to get creative with. So even the machine, even though you can you can do you can use some creative ideas, don't make it like fun. You know, I don't want it yeah. to feel like it's a fun place to work at. I want it to be boring. Yeah, almost like how um, I know McDonald's have gone for a bit of a redesign where they've kind of colored everything green and made every made everything look as sort of like a, almost borderline hipsterish as possible. But mm -hmm. when everything was still red and um, you know, like the the yellow M was prevalent in in the UK, they've changed everything green. Sorry. Which company are you talking about? Uh, McDonald's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I almost said Mackie D's, which is like local slang for um, McDonald's. Yeah, we say Mickey D's, not Mackie D's. Yeah. But yeah, same, same idea. Yeah. But they've pretty much changed everything to look all green and. Um, no, I guess they're uh, super healthy. And, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it, I think. Even the straws, you know, make them boring. Clear straws, I think, are fine. Uh, okay. I think, so, yeah, because like anything creative would make it look fun, and like we're trying to avoid that. So I yeah. guess you know, this is going to be the le the less interesting thing to design. Mm. Um, boring straws. Right. All right, sushi. So I, I definitely want to go like kind of like an upscale. Uh, feel to the sushi place kind of look like very nice. So okay. I want to, right, because like it's it's funny that it's like all of a sudden it's like a very nice uh, sushi truck. So right, so definitely no wasabi bottles. Um, you know, like you know wasabi paste in like tubes or something like that. Perhaps like yeah, on, no, a, no on a nice little dish or something. Yeah, I'm just looking at the truck right now. Um, the wasabi. The sorry. Let's let's start from the, the beginning. I want little plates with with the necessary uh, utensils. So there's usually a a little holder for the for the chopsticks. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't see it in your mood board, but you know, look mm -hmm. it up. Uh, it's very 
but just something that's a little rounded, like like a nice little holder. You can Google some like fancy stuff and, and find a nice one. And, oh, then, I'll look one up. and then for the soy, uh, con like little soy container that you pour soy into, uh, right. I'll, I'll go with like the, that rounded Japanese style with like little two legs maybe on the sides. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I guess the closest thing would be the one in the middle. Which would yeah, pop. admittedly, I wasn't really thinking upscale. I was thinking well, I know, I know. possible. So I want it to be like very cute and like designy, very like uh, very ah, okay. easy. Uh, yeah, just that kind of stuff. Then we have the two bottles of soy, the green and the red one. Mm -hmm. uh, in there, you know, you can you can make it. You try to stay with a traditional shape, which is kind of like that that bo like female body form shape, I guess, of like that kind of thing. So I think that the closest thing you have in your drawing is the one on the right. Sorry, it's the, all the soy bottles together and the green one, the one I'm talking about. Uh, soy bottles together. Um, One's soy you, bottles. Near the top? Near the top. Uh, so the one on the right, the green one, I guess is the closest one. Is that... Oh, um, yeah, I know. I see the one you mean. That's kind of like the Kikoman. Uh, oh, so the one with the unusual looking lid. Yeah. With the green that's, top. That's, that's, that's the kind a, of thing you want. Okay. Uh, so okay. you want a little dispenser and a soy sauce bottle. So two soy sauce, two soy bottles, the green and the red one. Similar shapes, different colors. So I think we're good. Hold on. Uh, we need a knife as well. Knife, okay. Google, you know, whatever uh, knives uh, Japanese chefs use to make sushi. It's probably very large and sharp, like the one you have in the photo. Mm. Uh, so just pick one of them, maybe Google a little bit to see what they usually use, and just make a version of that. Okay, then. Also, I do want a knife sharpener. Knife sharpener. Because I do want to, when we see the sushi, uh, like, reveal, I want him to do something like a like sharpening a knife as if it's like ready to make some sushi. I'll look into that. I'll look into how uh, sushi yeah, chefs sharpen their knives. All right, next one is the taco truck. So we, I definitely want that that uh, triangular holder that you have there. The triangular one. Yeah. That's the one, one that's underneath uh, the one that, uh, the uh, holder that actually has tacos on it. Right, on the, on the top left, the second one. Yeah. Right. right. Something, so, like, something like that for sure. I also want you to design an actual taco mm. with like stuff in it. Just make it look generic. We like a couple of uh, like dressings. Uh, maybe what do we usually have? Ketchup. Do they even use ketchup? I never put ketchup. In the there. Salsa. Okay. Mm. So just yeah, sal uh, salsa and what else? Cheese. Cheese, de oh, definitely. We're not gonna see like that. Usually, is is place where all the food is, and then they put it on the taco. And I, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be seeing any of that. I'm, I'm trying to think of the stuff that are gonna be on the actual shelf. Yeah, that's why I included the knife, the chopping board, and the um, the fork. Right. So we definitely want a chopping board because there's a mm. scene where he chops tomatoes, and we need a knife as well. So a different kind of like a meat knife. Maybe. Just a large, large sharp knife. Would you like the fork? That's that's used in the uh, um, animatic. Well, wait, what? Um, the fish. He pierces the meat as he's cutting it with a fork to keep it in place. Yeah, I do want that. Okay. I think that should that should be that should be enough. I do want to have like hot sauce where the bottles are. Hot that's the less. So it looks like a bottle of hot sauce. I think that's uh, it. Oh well, there's the. The bacon truck. Yeah. So just bacon pieces of that's the only thing that's there. Bacon. 